Let's do this. The grid. Don yes. Take long, Alex. This will be perfect for a warm up. My iron body is in bits. Round one. Fight. I muted my mic. You're right. Fight. Totally right. <laughs> Reset. Nope. Still holding up. Okay. Is he gonna get hit by this? He will. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, and I muted it because I was eating, I realized. Uh, and then didn't turn it back on after I was done. He got one shot. No, I'll lose a round. I don't care. I don't care about losing rounds. And neither should you. Winning the set's all that matters. Or even, like, round losing one. a set, but then, like, Fight. winning the game. Like... I'm not flex that. Yeah, sweep. Sweep's a good option. Oh, he's doing that. He's doing that business. Oh, he caught the back dash? He caught the back dash. Had I not back dashed, would that have gone over me? Round two. Go for damage. Although it's not very good. Over the limit. Ah shit. I fucked up. No follow-up off of that? You get good follow-up off of that. Oh, catch. Oh, catch. I should use the I should use the X in that situation. It's faster. Fight! Oh, I thought that uh, That's not a combo. Shh. Oh wow. He <laughs> didn't jump. Okay. Right. I thought he would jump. You win. That was a good round that you had won. Put me on tilt pretty quick. I'll admit that. 
I'll admit that. It did put me on tilt. I actually probably change this. That might be better for what we're trying to do. Oops. I want to do that. I should add all these people to the thing. I should. We'll see how that goes then. Anyway, how are we doing tonight? Because we're just hanging. This is all pre-tournament stream. Like, how how is the mix right now? I actually should put myself in my own ears just to know. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh sh! Mm, sugar. I am constantly forgetting that I need to choose critical art or to be trigger. I picked the wrong one. I'm sorry, Fox. It's not fun. I picked the not fun one. Ah, shoot. Okay. He knows. He knows the setup. I'll do it. Because he's going to stick out a limb. Should have been ready for the jump there. Should have been ready for the jump. I should have quick loaded. He's got so much critical art. Is this gonna work? Didn't. Well, I deserve that. That's what I get for trying to backdash too much. Get. Wow! Really? You can let me do that for free? <laughs> I thought for sure that he was either going to try and tick throw, in which case I was going to mash in the XSP. Or go for the air reset, which is what you should be doing. That's the call out. Well, that see with V trigger one, don't Round one. It don't react. Fight. Just automatically go for yeah. that'll work. Yeah. Automatically go for the reset. That's okay. Ah, 
Ah, you've been going for that way too much. Ah, you were in range for heavy, so I didn't do it. Slap him. That was good. That was good. <gasps> because it's so much later. That's why that worked. Wow. Got him. That's good. Really, bud? Ah, he let me do it again. He let me do it again. And I'm gonna keep doing it until it stops working. So what you gotta do with that is just automatically SPD. Or just throw. Or just throw. Uh, once you've blocked the the V trigger, just normal throw. You'll get it every time. Because uh, if if I continue to hold it, then it won't connect. If that makes any sense. Like if I continue to hold it, hold that V trigger, then the throw won't come out, and you'll be fine. See, no, don't jump. Don't jump. Jump is stupid. Jump is stupid. Because you get a free punish. You get free damage. Mike too strong, don't you tell him that. Don't you tell him those lies. It's a free punish. Almost every time, unless it's done meaty, in which case you have to know that, and you should know that because you're Zangief. I think you're minus six in that situation. You will feel my wrath. <laughs> this isn't the correct crit V trigger, but I pick it because I like it. So we're gonna let it rock. Because it's scary. I pick it because it's scary. Am I in window? I think so. Fight! Oh boy. It's not a great connection. Try to like tech. Nope. Yep. Okay. That's okay. Wow, buttons? How did that foot not connect? Huh. Weird. Alright. That's okay. That was a bad jump. What? Okay. Ah, uh, that doesn't feel good at all. I hate that. That make me salty. That ain't good. Alright. Alright. Let's play for real. Round one. Just don't do the dumb thing. Fight. Really? 
Is that a thing where it just misses? Ugh. That feels like trash. Does feel like trash. Yeah, obviously. Fucking shit. That felt like such garbage. Ugh, I hate that. You lose. I have to get that out of my system. Can't let that get to me. That felt like that felt bad. I'm sorry, Mike too strong. I'm sorry. That I historically do not play well with any kind of lag, and that did not feel good at all. But that's on me, that's my problem for not playing like I should be playing in lag. About that, I have to hold that. Man, that sucks. <sighs> Let me just sit in silence for a second. <laughs> Let me wallow in it. Ugh. Feels bad for him too. Ah, spacing so good. Be heard on mic. What's happening, man? How you living, Joe Monday? Ah, I'm salty AF right now. Don't feel good about that. I think I saw that. Ugh. It just didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. I think your mic is low right now. I can just give you a boost, which is fine, but... I don't know. We'll work it out in the next one in a minute. Sounds good! What's up, James? Like, crouching medium punch there is nuts. How's your uh, weekend? Uh, it's good. It's good. It's a good time. Uh, I'm still wallowing. I'm sorry. Over that loss. Yeah, I don't feel good about that. Yeah, Mike too strong has the right idea. It does fucking kill with partners. Cause I'd be feeling the same way. Oh, appreciation. Yipes is so good on commentary. Oh my goodness. Uh, angry I know the connection is really bad. At least to me. And it might be the same way for Mike. I don't know. And... Okay, cool. So, 
Zangief when the connection is bad is I have found that to be very difficult in this game. Yeah, I found that too. Like I couldn't and I don't know if it's like certain buttons were dropping, but things were not coming out correctly that I had wanted to do. Which that, that to me makes me, that upsets me. When things don't happen the way that they're supposed to happen. And I dwell on that in my mind. And I, and I like try and redo it in my brain the way that it, it should be. Uh, and that, that breaks me a little bit. It's not, that's not a good habit. But also playing online. Can't worry about this stuff. Gonna let that shit roll off your back. Work. Check in twenty. Lag spike. Now he's in the chat saying lag spike, but it's been kind of bad the whole time. Play it out. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know how that whiffed. That looked like you were in range. I'm actually surprised that even came out. Honestly. Man, how did I get pushed down so far? Right, the invite's sent. Whatever. True, true. Is there a lot of people in the lobby? Uh, there's one... one more left. Then I'll just... I'll just join with a watch card. Just get my training mode on. Well, whenever you're ready then for tournament stuff, the invite will be there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'll join. I'll join. Right. That'll work. Well, as long as, yeah, as long as it's there. But yeah, man, Yipes is so good. Like, Yipes? My iron. But I, cause I was watching Winter Brawl. Yeah. Fight. Like, he looks like he has fun. I, see, I'm on... I personally find Yipes to be boring. Really? Yeah. Because it's... The style hasn't changed... ...in years. And it's the same... You get what you pay for in that situation. And also, he causes a lot of people to try and be like Yipes. Which... ...is a whole other issue, but... Seem. I feel like I feel like that's a flawed statement. A lot of the times. I mean, I I know that I'm not in the majority when I say that I'm not a fan of yipes. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even saying that. Like, I'm not even saying like. I'm not. I'm saying you can. You could be like that all you want. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is how people say like uh, trying to be like yipes. Like uh, like if okay. If James, oh, there's James? there's a lot of people that do it. And I'm not talking like I'm not talking about the, like the popular pe like the people who get paid. I'm talking about like any old stream that you tune into. What's got Marvel on? Like whenever that happens, you'll you'll hear a lot of. Yipes esque speak. Yeah, but is is that like Yipes esque speak if it's just being goofy? Cause like boom, I like I, what I would say is like being like Yipes is if James Shin or like uh, Ultra David did it. Because you know that's not their style. But like someone like you, you could kinda do it. Like you're you're a good balance of technicality and goofiness at the same time which I think that 
as far as like both, there's no one on your level as far as that, or you get that technical and you get that gap, that it, goofy. You it's one of those saying? things where like when you hear it, it's it's like yeah. blaringly obvious. Like, oh, get him in the dump. We get the dash up. Here it comes. Oh, got nothing. Blowing the wake up. Blocking. Good. Nice. Hold that guy in the corner. Push that man. Oh, flexing. Let's go. Get the jump in. Where's your anti airs at? Oh, here we go. Flexing. Here comes the big muscle. Here we go. In the corner. Reset. No. Here we go. Let's go. Is he going to jump? Don't jump. Don't jump. You get dunked. That's right, son. Big damage. Big body damage. Ooh. Popped him up. Drops the combo. You fool. Get splashed for it. Let's go. What's the follow up? Here we go. Tick throw coming. No. Nope. Jabs out. Let's go. Ooh. Eat that elbow. Here we go. Mmm. Mm, backing off, backing off. Play it tight, play it right. Here we go. Counter hit jab. Flex that free. Free. Bodied him. I, I didn't know how long he was going to commit to it. That's, see, that's why you just. What? If anything, you just proved my point of you could do both, motherfucker. You proved my point. <laughs> that's. But, like. Like. I only say that to, like, prove a point that, like, that's. That's. Me doing like a fake gaps, which I don't, I don't think that's very good. Like what I was doing, like he does nuance to it, and like he'll ha he'll bring in like he'll bring a lot of cross references as to what's going on, and that's I guess that's like very uh, like freestyle like rap stuff of being able to bring in like a popular culture reference that's like oh that that is also true while you're dunking on the person who's getting hit right now like that works I, I, I see what you're saying I guess what I'm saying is it, it feels like sometimes like a lot of the FGC which you know there's good and bad and it's not even like the hating fact it's like that one prime example is like you can't like two games at the same time it's it's really weird how people are but like I feel like that's if like us being goofy I feel like that, like they're not allowing us to be goofy because it's oh, it's it's you're doing a yipes thing. It's like, well, no, motherfucker. It's, it's people who's who's goofy. You know what I mean? Like that's the only thing I hate. Like that's why I try to nip it in the bud because it's like I feel like you're like you know me and you know how I say stuff. But then like I don't want to go on a tournament and say, oh, this guy's trying to be yipes. Like, no, I still want to be myself. You know what I'm saying? I feel you on that. I mean, uh, I guess, and if, be, if anything, be, if I had to copy somebody, be, be supreme. No, that's anything. wrong because I didn't say anything that was technically inaccurate. So that's not like Ski Sonic. Don't worry, everything wow. I said was very true. In fact, I only said facts. <laughs> this is why Joe's probably the most interesting person in the fight FGC. This facts. man sending out shots on the low, like Joe's that's, crazy. That's that's an easy one. That's an easy one. He wow. just, like, but only because he's been in front of the mic so many times and said things inaccurate on so many occasions that, like, it's kind of like a meme at this point. It's like, and he knows it, and he owns up to it eventually, but just, like, not on mic at the time. Which, like, whatever, things, things move. I feel like that's a terrible, like, thing you want to be known for, you know what I'm saying? And it's... There's worse things that people have been known for in the FGC, so. So is it better for me to like, like I know some frame data, but like I don't want to risk it of just being wrong. So is it better to just not say it? <laughs> so about frame data, or like especially if things are going fast, just say like he's got the advantage, or gives up the advantage, or. That's a punishable if something is punishable, but that it's not often that players at a high level will do something that is like punishable at a range where it, like on purpose, unless they like drop a confirm or something, which happens. Because um, I feel like if anything, like uh, when I'm by myself or like like when I'm by myself practicing, or if uh, I'm with you and you know you gotta do your TL stuff, which I'm not even saying that's a bad thing. I get it, <laughs> but. If it's like one of those two situations where I gotta talk by myself, I try to explain stuff. But really, in like as far as commentary goes, it's kind of just the conversation because like the movements like almost too damn fast. <laughs> like it's not like football where uh, you know a play happens, a plays dead in five seconds, or basketball where it's like oh there might be a foul, so I can explain something. Like it's still going, you know what I'm saying? 
but always relatively fast. Yeah, it just it moves. You're right. I mean, it does move too fast to where it's it's not easy to like pick up on something and talk about it when it's happening in the moment, and then try and move on from that because the round can be open. So then I gotta ask you this: Who's your uh, who's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> not 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 a group, because if we're not, if, so if we're not your favorite group. <laughs> now, see the uh, my answer to this in like all of FTC history is uh, classically Team Rush Hour, which is Aqua Silk and Henry Singh. Uh, oh no, not Henderson. Um, fucking. And I always do this. Uh, I didn't know that. Was... For some reason, I I don't know. I just feel like it started with uh, like James Chan and Ultra David. I know it's so, completely no, they're, they're uh, Chris who? I'm sorry. I always I always mess that up. I don't know why. In my mind, I get I get it twisted, which is wrong with me. But Chris Hu and Aqua Silk, Team Rush Hour, was some of my favorite commentary of all time. And it goes... And I say that in a way of me saying that I don't like yipes, but they kept it extremely hype and dunked on people all the time. Uh, and it was so, so good. But there was like, it wasn't like they were calling out the hits. They would just like openly insult the person, and it's not. You can't sell that commentary to to any kind of sports. And I mean, they're not around anymore. Aqua still kind of quit the FCC for a number of reasons. Um, Chris Hughes still around, but I mean, obviously, and I still like Chris Hughes' commentary. It's it is very funny to me that 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 dude. Uh, if you don't know who Team Rush Hour is, anyone who's listening, just uh, Google Team Rush Hour Aqua Silk, like compilation or whatever. And there's, I, I know that there's at least an hour long compilation of those two doing some really good commentary. Uh, I recommend watching that for sure. Yeah, I like Seijin. Seijin is probably one of my top favorites. It's weird. I have more, like, single favorites, but if you put certain people together, I feel like, uh, I feel like it would, uh... There's good company. I like Aeris yeah, and, like, Mark, it's Aeris and Mark Mann, I think, are very good together. Because... Yeah, I would say. Aeris... <laughs> I love... What was it? Uh, Eris's advice on look up Eris's advice on commentating Tekken, uh, specifically the video where he says, "Oh, if you just don't know, like someone complimented of him of knowing all the names of all the moves and all of Tekken, which if you've ever played Tekken, the moves list is very difficult. To, like, there's tons moves. of things to know." Uh, and he's like, man, you were calling out every move by name. Uh, and he's like, the best part about that is you just say whatever you think it is. And no one else knows, so you get away with it. Just say what it looks like, and it's fine. And people think you're a genius. Instead of saying, like, while standing to you, or, like, like all that stuff. Forward two. Forward forward two. Like, I'm almost... Two like, plus well, three. I won't say... I don't know why I would say almost, but I'm I'm thankful that you like scoop me up because like I like our I I like our dynamic. I feel like we work well together. Like, and I'm just picturing like other people in the FGC. I feel like if I ever worked with like Tasty Steve, like not saying it would be a shit show, but it'd be one of those goofy ones. Just be, but like I feel like you cover where I I'm flawed at. Well, well, that's the part of like any kind of commentary, and this advice goes to anyone doing commentary who needs to sit down next to someone they don't know. And it's that if if you're sitting down next to someone you've never sat down next to, the 
you have to you have to read the the crowd really. You have to read the person who's sitting next to you. Like if they're if they're up in the hype and they want to talk over everything and just go like ooh ooh hitting them and be like yipes, let's say. Uh, if they want to do that, like at that point you kind of have to wait until there's a break in what they're saying and then interject with like some kind of intellectual commentary that like talks about the actual match and you have to pick it or like say like oh I want to talk about that later like if someone's like really trying to bulldoze the conversation because then it's like oh that sends the signal to whoever you're, you've just met of oh they want to talk about something here in a second uh, so there's like that little tip or like if someone is trying to like continually talk about the tech stuff like Oh, if he would have done jump forward there, that would have been sick. I know he meant to, but he didn't have the range on. But, like, if someone wants to talk about stuff, like... And they're continually going on about something that happened minutes ago. And not talking about the actual match. Then at that at that point, you have to... Then read the game and say, Oh, but now this is happening. And you have to move things along. Because, like, I don't know, some people are just, like, bad at reading the other person like this situation really only applies to when you commentate with someone who is like bad at not knowing how to talk to the person next to you oh yeah uh yeah z and logan sama do not commentate well together that's that's for that's fact logan sama is the guy in uh He's WSL. Yeah, when it stays on. And Z, that's that's person there. Classically, attempts to throw his other co-commentator off in going on these tangents and references that they might not even understand, uh, and them trying to call the match. And what you'll see a lot with Z is he'll say something, and his co-commentator will go. <laughs> and there's the anti with the stand hard kick. All right, there's a uh, hmm, and like trying to move on in that way, but like it's it sounds disingenuous because they're obviously thrown off. I feel like I feel like uh, someone like you or C J M or uh, Alex David technical. I would say. Yeah, I would oh, say definitely. I'm not saying, well, not saying I'm not saying it to like discredit him, but if I had to put him in the category like as anything. Uh, like, what would he be? Yeah, he's, the, he's like the player that I would say I learned a lot of my technical commentary from. I would say, like, those type of people would work well with someone like Z. Like, I feel like there's a balance there. You know what I mean? Like, me and Z working together, that wouldn't go well because I'd be laughing and, like, <laughs> like, there'd be those technical things. Yeah, Everybody I mean, Z, Z treats his co commentator like he's trying to impress his first date. Like, and I'm not saying he does a good job of it. It's just that he's trying real hard <laughs> to do it. So that uh, that's the question for the chat. Who are some of your uh, favorite commentators? I'm kind of curious. Just curious about certain styles. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? If say be heard, there might be a bribe. Not really. I ain't got no money. But uh, if I had some money, I might I might bribe you. But uh, no promise. Oh, you better not put no cap face, goddamn it, either. I swear to God, y'all trying to put a cap face on. <laughs> James and Seth's best duo. I think I seen Seth commentate with Seijim at EVO Japan. But I've never actually heard him commentate. And I heard he's really good. I think it's the name Seth Killings, right? Yeah, Seth Killing. Man, Seth is... I mean... I've never actually heard him commentate, though. Oh, dude, like. word? Okay. Uh, you need to do yourself a favor and just look up that guy's history. Okay, At one point, enough. he was his business card read... Because uh, he worked for Capcom. Uh, hype Architect. He was Capcom's Hype Architect. Read on his business card. What an incredible business card. Wait, he was the hype man? 
that that was his business card read and his position at Capcom was hyper. Well, because like I, I feel like I feel like I've heard him at Evo and I feel like I've heard him at Evo Japan and those times that I've heard him, he sounded like like a technical. He's like real chill, relaxed. Maybe it's because he's been done it forever, ever. He but. knows the history of everybody because he was there. He lived it. Like okay. he's. I, 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 let me put it this way: You have, you have heard him commentate, and it's during Evo moment number thirty-seven. Why do I feel like that's like Daiko Perry and all that stuff? Third strike. Yeah, it's the Daiko Perry. How did I? Damn. Fuck. I'm learning. And uh, Neon V. <coughs> cough, cough, wink, wink, wink. Cough, cough, cough. Yeah, cough. yeah no, I saw that. Was awesome. Uh, you know. Shit. We had a player who frequently played in the Reddit fighting tournament play Colleen, you know, and uh, did pretty well this weekend by the name of Nephew. I'm just, I'm just saying, Neon, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? You do a couple more tournaments in here. No, they know you each know? other. They know each other. No, I'm not. I know they know each other, but I'm saying like, you know, how nephew kind of worked his way through the ranks up here. Just saying, Fuck. could be next. Cause it's probably the year Colleen, unless they nerf her. Fuck. God damn it. All right, game over. All right, let's uh, run check-in. He <laughs> said hard to tell the. <laughs> you funny. It's the Bob, and that's hilarious. All right, fuck you. You lose. I feel good about that. Also, color correction is wrong on my... On this. Make it the world difference. Just making me look all sickly. I'm just realizing that. I updated XSplit and things got bad, but that's it. These guys. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, we're gonna go to commercial break. When we come back, we'll start the tournament. So, fuck Mike Too Strong. Um, I don't feel good about that one at all.